and welcome to this episode of Sketching and Painting with Bill. I, in a previous ex- episode, I'd said that I have a little bit of an obsession with stands and holders for my iPad Pro. The, uh, the iPad Pro, and this, this is the 2021 version, uh, you'll notice I do have this sleeve in the back that I've shown before that holds a pencil, and that is great to use with the one holder I use almost exclusively, and that's the Max Smart Grip. I was put onto the the grip by uh, a video that Rob Sketcherman, a, an urban sketcher from Hong Kong who draws exclusively on an iPad, he had uh, recommended this grip in a video he did, and I immediately ordered it, and I'm extremely pleased with it. It's very handy. You can turn it up like so and it becomes a handle to carry your iPad. Or you can, the nice thing I really like is that I can use it in portrait mode or in landscape mode. And so so often you get a stand and you can only use it in landscape mode. And the other fact is that it's so easy to hold and you can put your hand through here in a variety of different ways, you know, like, like that or just hold it like this and sketch. Standing up, sitting down in a chair as I am now. So it's a very, very handy grip, but I, I, it took me a while to get to this particular grip because as you can see on the table here, I have a variety of holders for my iPad or stands for my iPad, including one I made from PVC pipe, which actually I'm kind of proud of. It works very nicely and I can take this piece out and put a longer piece in so that if I want it to, to be higher, it is, and it's still balanced enough. I made it wide enough so that it supports it. I made this originally for a mini, but uh, it works fine with the iPad Pro as well. So that's that was my DIY attempt, and it you know it screws you know any holder such as uh, well I've already got that in a in a thing, but so here's all, th- this is a typical holder that you'll find on the internet where this expands and then you clamp it down on your iPad. And the problem with that sometimes is, particularly in this case, it's very deep and so it sticks out and it gets in your way with your hand. This was my original uh, solution, I thought. Because what I've been trying to do is find a stand that I can use as I do the, the, the grip, the Max Smart grip, but also that I can attach to this tripod, and this is the tripod I typically use. It's, it's, it's a, a very lightweight, really meant for mobile devices, not heavy cameras or for micro four third cameras, or lightweight cameras, but it works perfectly as a, as a holder for an easel, if you will. I have a, when I'm drawing with, with actual paint and pen, drawing with pen and painting with paint, I have a board that I have fashioned a DIY holder for that I clamp on with binder clips and then I can screw it into this quarter 20 mount and I can angle it however is most comfortable for me. I can make it as tall as I want so I can stand up as you can see in the video I'm showing you right now or I can um, use it sitting down which is mainly how I would use it as you can again can see in the little video clip I'm showing you. So. That has always been my quest, and these guys, though they work, are um, not as flexible as I want. Of course, when I'm traveling, if I'm going to be someplace where the iPad could be damaged because I don't have any protect any protective covering on the iPad, I use a. As soon as I ordered the 2021 iPad, I got on the list to order a new Zugu case for this iPad. And I, I love the Zugu case because it has a place for the pencil right here. And it has m- multiple heights for standing it up. So this, this goes around and you have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different angles that you can position your iPad on. So that's really very handy, and this is my go-to case when I need a cover. So I finally did find what I find to be 
the best solution. It's the graffiti noodle, and I'll put a link to it in the in the description. And so it's it screws right on here. And again, let me show you that. So I like this stand too, because or this tripod because it allows you to screw independently. You don't have to turn it on and and be stuck with whatever angle it happens to be at. So I get this the angle I want and then I tighten that holder. So now I have it on here and I can change the angle this way as well by turning this up and down. But I need to get my iPad in there, don't I? So it goes corner to corner. So I'll take it out of my grip, take the pencil out. It will fit, but I, it doesn't go all the way in. And then I just expand this to the corner. Now you can see it's not in the right angle, so I need to adjust that. But all of this is really easy to do, and it's so handy. Right, we need to turn it around a bit. So I'm going to loosen this tightener, bring this around this way, get my pencil. And the pencil will go in that sleeve, but not all the way in, as you can see. So it it fits relatively nicely. So if I bring up Procreate, and this is a house commission piece that I'm working on. I'm working on this. So I've pretty much finished this, but I'm putting in shadows and things. So you can see it's, it's, it, it's is really handy. I can bring it very close to me and draw. So it's really quite useful. And that is the um, Graffiti Noodle compared to the grip. Now, one of the things that I've been doing is encouraging the folks at MaxSmart, and my apologies, Jen, that I mentioned this, to incorporate a quarter 20 mount. Or screw, all, they need, all it needs, is, in my mind, I know there's more to this manufacturing than what I know about, a quarter 20 screw hole so all I need to do when I'm when I you know when I'm using it like this all I would have to do is push the grip handle in take it to a tripod and screw it in as I just did the the noodle so all in one as it were rather than to have two so I had to carry both these things when I go someplace so that's a suggested in improvement on the max smart grip but I like both of them and they work fine for me now. Maybe one day in the future, there'll be one that incorporates my idea of having a quarter 20 mount on the grip, and I only have to carry one thing. So that's how I use these holders. And I thank you very much for checking in on this episode of Sketching and Painting with Bill. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye.